Can you have like a diagonal line? Oh, like, I'm so I'm glad you asked. I'm so <laughs> glad you asked. Now, let's just picture for a second, okay? I want you to imagine, right? In fact, let's not imagine. Um, you got this picture? You see the idea? Okay. Now, I have started drawing this based on my green set of coordinate axes. Yes? Okay. But if those axes were not there, right? Get rid of that guy. Here we go. Think back to when I phrased the question to you, okay? I've got a point, I've got a line, I want all of the, the path that's traced out by that moving point equidistant, right? Now all I want you to do is just, just like turn your head at any angle you like, just so you're not looking at it straight. Now, if you turn your head any which way, you're still getting the same locus, right? It doesn't matter which orientation you're looking at it, right? So for example, now putting your head back to normal, if I said, right, here's some other point, and here's some other line, right, some other fence that I want you to be the same distance from, okay, you will still get the same pattern, the same path being traced out. It's just that if you start to piece together the points, your parabola goes off in a different direction, okay? It could go off that way, it could go horizontally, okay, it can go any which way you like, depending on what kind of a line you have over there, okay? So, being that, this point, right, it's kind of like, where do, the, where do these points kind of go around, right? They're kind of focal, focusing around this point. This is called the focal point, right? That's its name. Or, more simply, the focus, okay? So, the focal point or the focus. This point defines where it's floating around, okay? This line down here, because what it sets for you is the direction that the parabola ends up facing, right? The direction that the parabola is facing, we call it, and this is why I called it the letter D, we call it the directrix. What's the directrix? This line down here, oh. which I gave you as y equals negative 3, or I could give you some weird oblique thing, or a vertical thing, which would be like x equals some constant, that thing is what sets the direction of this guy. And so therefore, it's called the directrix, right? It's facing away from the directrix, as it were. Okay. Yes? So would it be um, like impossible to have a line and then the parallel being like this? Because that would be a convex. If I want, if I want the focus point to be, the focal point to be here, the focus, yeah. right? And I want the parallel to be facing down, right? It's still going to be going around the focus, but I want the directrix to be directing it that way, right? So you see how at the moment this directrix is making it go, making it go that way? Yeah. This directrix is making it go that way. This directrix is making it go that way, right? If I want this thing to face down, I just put the directrix above, right? And the parabola that results will face away from the directrix. So you can never have the parabola facing into the line. Correct, because here's what would happen. If I had the line somewhere, it right? Yeah, it would intersect, right? And then if you've got, say, the focus here, this doesn't work. You know, for example, if I pick an arbitrary point on the parabola, like say, oh, I don't know, there, right? <laughs> the point P is zero distance from the line, but it is some distance from <coughs> the focus. So it no longer obeys this geometric property that we started with, the distance is not the same. But if we 